Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 4 to the power of a times 4 to the power of a, this is equal to 80. So what is the value of a, given that a is not equal to 0? So let's provide a solution from here. This exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 4 to the power of a plus a, this is equal to 80. Now here we have 4 to the power of a plus a is 2a, so this is equal to 80. To solve for a here, we introduce logarithm on both sides, such that we have rock 4 to the power of 2a, this is equal to rock 80. Now, rock 4 to the power of 2a, this is in the form of rock a to the power of n, which we can express as n rock a. Applying this power root property of logarithm, then rock 4 to the power of 2a becomes 2a rock 4. This is equal to rock 80. The next step is to divide both signs by rock 4. Here by rock 4. Simplifying here, rock 4 and rock 4 simplifies so that we have 2a. This is equal to rock 80 divided by rock 4. The next step from here, we can express 80 basically as 16 multiplied by 5. And this implies that we have 2a. This is equal to rock 16 multiplied by 5. Everything here divided by rock 4. Now, we have that rock 16 times 5. This is in the form of rock A multiplied by B, which can be expressed as rock A plus rock B. Now, applying this logarithm property, then here we have 2A. This is equal to rock 16 divided by rock 4 then plus rock 5 divided by rock 4. Now, here we can express 16 basically as 2 to the power of 4, and we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So this implies that here we have 2a, this is equal to rock 2 to the power of 4 divided by rock 2 to the power of 2, then plus rock 5, divided by rock 2 to the power of 2. Now, applying the power root property here, we have that rock 2 to the power of 4 becomes, in this case we have 2a, this is equal to 4, rock 2, divided by rock 2 to the power of 2 becomes 2, rock 2, then plus, here we have rock 5 divided by 2 rock 2. So let's divide rock 2 and rock 2 here. And then 4 divided by 2, this is equal to 2. So this implies that we have 2a, this is equal to 2. Plus, now here we have half, this is rock 5 divided by rock 2. 2. The next step is to divide both signs by 2, so that now, here we have, we simplify here, so that a is equal to, now we have 2 divided by 2, then plus, this is a half times a half, then rock 5 divided by rock 2. So here we simplify, we simplify here, so that now a is equal to, this is 1 plus 
this is 1 over 2 times 2, this is 1 over 4. Rock 5 over rock 2, this is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. Applying this logarithm property, then here we have 1 over 4, rock 5 to base 2. So this implies that the value of A is equal to 1 plus 1 over 4, rock 5 to base 2. So this is the value of A. This is the value of A. The next step from here is to verify that this value of A here satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that the value of A, which is 1 plus 1 over 4, rock 5 to base 2, satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we have that 4 to the power of A multiplied by 4 to the power of A. This is supposed to give us a value of 80. So, we find that this exponential equation, we say this is in the form of A to the power of N times A to the power of M, which is expressed as A to the power of N plus M. So that now we have 4 to the power of a plus a, which is 2a, this is supposed to give us a value of 80. So let's substitute the value of a, so that now we have 4 to the power of 2, multiplying by a, which is 1, plus 1 over 4. This is row 5 to base 2. Cross the parentheses, this should give us a value of 80. Now, the next step from here, we can open the parentheses so that we have 4 to the power of 2 times 1, this is 2, then plus 2 times 1 over 4, 2 and 2 here simplifies, so we have a half, this is rock 5 to base 2, this is supposed to give us a value of 80. The next step is that we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2. So therefore, we have here 2 to the power of 2 into the parentheses. This is 2 plus half. This is rock 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 80. Now, we have that again opening the parentheses. We have 2 to the power of 2 times 2. This is 4. Then plus... 2 and 2 here simplifies, so this is plus rog 5 to base 2. This should give us a value of 80. The next step is that 2 to the power of 4 plus rog 5 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which we can express as a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of rock 5 to base 2. This should give us a value of 80. Now, we have that 2 to the power of 4. This is the same thing as 16. So we have 16 multiplied by 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2. Remember this is in the form of a to the power of rho b to base a. And this should give us a value of b. Which means that 2 to the power of rho 5 to base 2. This is equal to 5. Substituting 5a. Then we have 16 times 5. This is supposed to give us a value of 80. So it's clear that 16 times 5, this is equal to 80, which is equal to 80. So the left hand side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of A, which is equal to 1. So this implies that the value of A, which is 1, plus 1 over 4, 
log 5 to base 2 actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video, and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.